Hey, what's up guys? Been away for a few days, haven't made a video on this channel, and uh, I'm back and I'm excited to be back. I'm happy to, to be looking at these questions and supporting you guys the best I can. I begin today with a question from a 14-year-old friend. In fact, he's 14, but he's six foot three and he's got a, a, a voice deeper than most grown men, this is what he tells us. But anyway, he's really passionate about music, he's really passionate about film, and he also happens to be a very talented student. He's in advanced classes. He says that he was reading at a college level back when he was in second grade. And, um, and he, he does what he has to do to get by in that regard. But at the same time, he doesn't love school. He doesn't love the fact that he has to subject himself to daily rigor in a direction that he could care less for. What he really wants to do is play his music. And when he's away from playing his music, he becomes depressed, so he goes to school, he doesn't want to become an engineer, he's very clear about that, he doesn't want to be a physicist, basically anything that the school system invites us to aspire to. He's like, fuck that, I have no interest in that. I want to play my music. And the fact that I have to take time away from that thing that I love, that musing, letting the spirit move through me, through my mouth, through my fingers, through my hands, in order to produce beautiful music, I've got to go and sit in a fucking classroom, study, memorize shit, even though I'm good at it, it fucking it's making me sick. So here's the thing, you're, you're 14 years old, you're still fairly young, you're not even in high school yet, so I'm happy to be able to give you this piece of advice because you're going to have to carry it with you for quite a while. You got, you've got quite a ways left ahead of you. One of the things you're going to have to understand is that no matter what road you take in life, there are always going to be things you have to do that you just don't want to fucking do. Right? And, and mind you, it's always a choice. But in order to, to, to live the way that you see fit for yourself, there are always going to be things that you have to do that you don't want to fucking do. So you could drop out of school. You totally could, but that's a whole nother set of problems with your, with your parents perhaps. And you know, you'd have to resolve that. And that becomes something you have to do that you don't want to do also. If you decide to become a musician, I promise you, there are going to be things that you have to do that you don't want to fucking do. You're going to have to, really, if you become a musician, you're going to have to build a business infrastructure. You're going to have to do weird shit like accounting and, uh, and, and promotions and uh, marketing and sales and you're going to need a management team. There's a whole lot of shit there that you don't want to do, but if you want to be a musician, you want to do the thing that you love, you're going to have to do, right? You want a family. Everybody wants, a, well, not everybody, but you know, if you want a family, you know, especially when you're a young dad, I get so many young dads sending emails and they've got their, their newborn baby, right? All this build up to this new experience with a baby. Guess what? It's so cute. You snuggle it, you smell it, and you think about all the things that this child is going to become, all the dreams and aspirations you have for it. And if you're like me, you read all these books and you've got all these grand ideas and plans about how it's going to be. And then guess what? You're changing nasty fucking diapers six times a day. You smell like vomit all the time. You can't sleep. They're fucking annoying. It's 50% love, 50% Arger, 50% work. It's always going to be that way. I don't care how much you invest in your particular line of love, your line of work. So, 14 years old. Look, eight hours a day is quite a fucking bit. Plus, they give you homework and you've got to study and you've got to pass tests. You do it. But don't personally invest in it. You do it because you know that this is a part of, this is 50% of, the big picture, right? So a part of the big picture is I want to fulfill my parents' expectations for me, right? And I'm the first one to tell you, don't live your life based on other people's expectations. But then again, you've got issues when you do that also, because now you've got to, you've got to fight that. You've got to be a fighter, right? And sometimes fighting is, is it's totally not worth it. It depends on the situation. I fight for a lot of fucking shit and when I, later on I realize, boy, I could have just chilled the fuck out and got the same result. So go to school, but don't be personally identified with the result. Do it because you're supposed to do it. And it only lasts a little while. Trust me, I'm 34 years old right now and school seems like that was totally a different life, like a different person. I have absolutely, I have no memory of it. It's so gone. It's so back there. Right? I live my life on my terms. 
I'm building a family right now. You think I want to go home to four whining fucking children some days? Some days I walk through the door and it's like, I love my kids, but it's going to suck for the next three hours while they're fighting and whining with each other and they want things that I don't have to give them and that I got to give them baths and shit. But you don't become personally identified with the, with the down part. You remember the good part or you, or you really invest your heart and soul into the good part when I'm sitting there reading stories to them or I'm kissing them and snuggling them before bed. That's the beautiful part. When you go and play your music, you'll be able to appreciate those times much better. The instances through which you can produce your music are going to be given that much more value because of the time you spend doing the shit you don't want to do. So that's it. I guess that was kind of a long way to say you're always going to have to do shit that you don't want to do. Don't let it distract you or, or depress you in such a way that you can't fulfill the love obligation that you have within you. Do it gracefully. Do it happily. Don't personally identify with it. Just see it for what it is. It's the nighttime that allows you to appreciate the day. It's the winter time that allows you to enjoy the summer. It is the other side of the coin and it will always be there. Hope that helps.